And over the past couple of months, Fairfax County Police have been phasing out a program it believes no longer serves a purpose. Yeah, for years, every FCPD cruiser had a 12 gauge shotgun, but that's not the case anymore. And Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Max Marcilla joins us live from police headquarters with the details. And Max, they're transitioning away from the 12 gauge shotguns toward a less lethal option. Yeah, that option are beanbag shotguns. Essentially, you know, they look similar. We'll show you some pictures, but they look similar. But notably, they are less lethal and they are replacing about 800 of those 12 gauge shotguns. So take a look at some pictures from the Fairfax County Police Department. You can tell the main physical difference is the orange color of these beanbag shotguns. They say that color is to help keep people aware if and when an officer is holding or, or potentially about to use one. The people will know it is the less lethal version. Uh, every officer in Fairfax County who will have one of these has to be trained and in that training is how to use it without seriously injuring someone. Now, this isn't the first time really in the last several months that we've seen Fairfax County take an effort to try to find a way where these use of force incidents don't don't escalate into any serious injuries. We saw last year uh, they piloted a program for something called a, a bolo wrap. Essentially what it was, it, it's a thing where you can propel a restraining wrap around someone. They say it, it, that could be in a mental health crisis and they say that can kind of de-escalate without causing serious harm. So now this is uh, just another tool in the toolbox of Fairfax County police officers who are working to resolve some of these incidents that sometimes could uh, escalate to use of force without that use of force resulting in serious injury or uh, the loss of life. Reporting live in Fairfax County, Max Marcella, DC News Now.